this, uh, this conference here. Uh, very, very disappointed in the way that we performed this afternoon. Uh, we knew that Northern Illinois was a very, very worthy opponent. Uh, there's no, no, no doubt about the quality of that football team. And uh, we knew they were big, fast, tough, all those, all those adjectives, and they certainly deserve them. And, uh, but I thought our team was, was a tough team. I, I still think our team is a tough team, and we play hard. Uh, our guys usually finish the game each and every week that we've played. And today I was a little bit disappointed. I don't think that, that uh, every guy uh, played till the end of the game. I think some of the guys uh, started to uh, uh, think about the trip home and getting out of uh, DeKalb and not finishing the afternoon the way I like to see it get done. Uh, we've got a long way to go as a football team. I understand that. We all understand that. Um, those are the cards that are dealt us. We have some guys that aren't quite ready for uh, football at this level. We're trying to bring them, bring them around as fast as we can. It's a slow process for some, faster for others. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, the, the score of today's game, our performance, especially in the second half, was, was, was really uh, inexcusable. I'm open for questions. What do you see that, that indicates, uh, I guess, from the sideline, how can you tell that Oh, I just I just key on a guy, or just see maybe a, a defensive lineman run right up the field, and you just know that that particular guy who was assigned to him just didn't uh, do what he was supposed to do. I mean, basic stuff. You can see it. So some guys maybe uh, came in to make a tackle, didn't wrap up, drive their legs, keep their head up, do all the things that they're supposed to do. Kind of came in with the shoulder and chipped them rather than finishing them off. Coach, you guys have played a tough schedule this year. How does that you compare to the rest of the team? It's it's it, arguably it's right right there with the best teams that we've played. You can make the point that they're as good as good as Michigan, really good, in a lot of ways. What were your impressions impressions of Jordan Lynch? Uh, he's he's uh, everything that he's been built to be. Uh, I don't know if he's one of the top five players in the country. I, I don't get to see him all in this uh, particular conference and who we've played so far. But he is certainly uh, the. Uh, uh, thing that makes this, this offense go here in Northern Illinois. He is really, really a dynamic player for them. What makes him so difficult to stop, Charlie? He's just so hard to tackle. And uh, everything you do defensively, you have to defend him every single play. You take your eyes off him, and uh, uh, they're, they're really good with their uh, deception. And you don't know if he's got the ball or not. And uh, if he's got the ball and you didn't keep you didn't, uh, maintain eye contact, uh, eye discipline, you're going to lose him, and he's going to take off and, and kill you. You which know, he did multiple times today. Do you think, Charlie, week after week after week of Evan come up against these challenges? Like, what's next? I mean, when are we going to get a break here? Well, the, the break will come when we decide to, to develop as a football team, when our guys all join together, they play hard, uh, stop making mistakes. Uh, some of this stuff is part of the growth process. Some of it's just maybe immaturity on the part of some of our players. Uh, but it always starts at the top, and I'm certainly uh, not trying to duck my, my uh, blame in this thing, but... Nevertheless, we've, we've got to have our guys, our team needs to mature, and we need to mature fast so uh, we can get something positive out of the season from a win-loss standpoint. We expect you know, that to happen you know, coming into the game. We expect to do a lot better. But you know, I just want to start out by saying you know, that was a great team we played. Uh, definitely the best D-line that we've faced all year. Uh, and that was you know, evident throughout the game. You know, they were applying a lot of pressure, and you know, it was just a good team that we played. What needs to change specifically in order for you guys to get that first win before the season ends? Um, it's still a lot of a lot of pieces of the puzzle, you know, that aren't together all at the same time. I think is our, our biggest problem. You know, every play, it seems like you know one guy, you know, isn't you know, on the same page as everybody else. You know, one play, and the next next play, it's another guy. You know, so we really need to pull everybody in together for every single play. And then you know, we we move the ball, you know, here and there, and it's too much of just having spurts. You know, we need to bring it all together every single every single play, uh, you know, every snap. Is that what's happening today, do you think? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And then another piece of it is, you know, finishing once we, you know, get into the red zone. That was, it's been another problem of ours for the past couple of weeks here. And, but that, again, is on the same thing as, you know, just being on the same page for every play. How has this team progressed since that loss to Ohio? Um, well, we've had our fair share of, you know, adversity and, you know, trials and tribulations that we've had to overcome, and uh, but you know, guys getting suspended here or there, injured here and there. Uh, but I think you know, as a, as a group, we needed you know, 
to grow from that and build off of that. You know, obviously we played well against Ohio. We, you know, executed a lot better. I think that was our best game of, in the sense of having everybody on the same page for every play. You know, it seemed like the linemen were all doing their job at the, at the same time. Uh, running backs were making their reads, you know, picking everybody up in protection, running the routes correctly, and receivers on the same page, and my, myself included. You know, I was making the right reads and you know, going through the right progressions, getting the ball off on time. And for whatever reason, we just haven't been able to duplicate that. What were you encouraged at all to that first drive, and then uh, your defense gets a, a big stop? And you were able to move the ball a little bit early on. Did that, what was the confidence like at that point? Uh, I thought we had good confidence at the start. Um, definitely throughout the first half, I felt like you know, we could move the ball against them. But, I mean, throughout the game, I felt that way. You know, I, it was just, I don't know, for whatever reason, again, you know, not on the same page. And that was, that was kind of our downfall through it. But you know, I, I never really lost confidence in us, I would say. It was just uh, the expectation is, is set here, and you know, we're falling short of it.